Now that you know what a matrix is, I need to discuss uh, what a determinant of a matrix is and what an inverse of a matrix is. The determinant is actually the way that we'll write, we write the uh, cross product in uh, vector calculus. So the determinant of a matrix, we write as determinant of the matrix A. For the, if A is a two by two matrix, then we'll write this as these absolute value signs of A11, A12, A21, A22. You get the determinant by multiplying the diagonal, A11 times A22, and then subtract the off diagonal, so A12 times A21, okay? That's the definition of the determinant of a two by two matrix. If we want to find the determinant of a three by three matrix, I will write that as the, uh, this absolute value sign. So we have a three by three matrix. So A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23 and A31, A32, A33, and something called the uh, Laplace expansion, we can write a 3 by 3 determinant in terms of 2 by 2 determinants. So you wait, the way you do that is you go across the first row. So you start with A11 element, and then you cross out the first row and the first column, and then you multiply this by the smaller two by two determinant of A22, A23, A32, A33. Okay? Then you go on to the next element in the first row, and you change the sign, so you have minus A12. And then you delete the first row and the second column, and you have the determinant of A21, A23, A31, A33. Then you change the sign again, so you have a plus. You have the third element in the first row, and then you cross out the first row and the last column, and you have the two by two determinant of A21, A22, A31, and A32, okay? So that's how you remember the determinant of a three by three matrix. Okay, the uh, important theorem here is that uh, an N by N matrix, an N by N matrix, is invertible if and only if the determinant of that matrix is not equal to zero, okay? So it gives us a theorem, the determinant gives us a theorem on how to decide whether a matrix is invertible. What does it mean to be invertible? It means that, this is only for square matrices, it means that the inverse matrix times the matrix is equal to the identity matrix. And it doesn't matter which way you multiply, this is also true for A times A inverse. For uh, two by two, so the identity matrix for two by two looks like one, zero, zero, one. If you multiply, any two by two matrix by the identity matrix, you get back that two by two matrix. Okay, so how do you find inverse? Um, there's general methods for finding the inverse of a matrix. In this course, we're only going to find the inverse of some very uh, specific matrix. Those are called, uh, the matrices are called orthogonal matrices. So I can give you an example of a, of a matrix. So let's look at uh, a matrix that will be associated with uh, polar coordinates is cosine theta 
sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta. We'll see this matrix when we study polar coordinates. This is called an orthogonal matrix. What it means is that this uh, vector defined either by the first row or the first column, let's talk about the rows, the vector defined by the first row, which would be cosine theta i plus sine theta j, is orthogonal to the vector defined by the second row, which would be minus sine theta i plus cosine theta j. So that means the dot product of the vector formed by the first row uh, with the vector formed by the second row is zero. Okay. I won't write that down, but that's the definition of an orthogonal matrix. Also, one more point is that the length of the vector defined by each row is 1. So the length of cosine theta i plus sine theta j is cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. So that defines what's called an orthogonal matrix. Let me write the term. So A is orthogonal. So the matrices that we'll deal with for our coordinate transformations uh, polar coordinates, cylindrical coordinates, spherical coordinates will be, uh, the transformation matrices will be orthogonal matrices so that we can invert the transformation using the inverse matrix. Here the inverse matrix of an orthogonal matrix is equal to the transpose of the matrix. The transpose means that the uh, first row of the matrix becomes the first column, so the first row becomes the first column, and the second row of the matrix becomes the second column. Okay, so if we interchange rows and columns, then we take the transpose of the matrix. And if you try to multiply A times A inverse, you'll get this 2 by 2 identity matrix. Okay. We don't need a general theory for this course. If you're interested in a general theory of determinants, you're interested to learn more about orthogonal matrices and inverses of matrices, then please take my course, uh, Matrix Algebra for Engineers. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching.